This is a brief review of the activities of the Friends of Arlington's David M. Brown Planetarium during the year of 2020. Of course, the year was never going to be a normal one for the Friends anyway, since at the end of November 2019, the planetarium was temporarily closed because of an extensive renovation project at the Education Center building next door. As a result, the Friends were already planning to conduct a year of events and activities outside of the dome. These photos were taken as the planetarium was being prepared for the construction-related closure. Some of our programs continued normally. The 8th David M. Brown Memorial Scholarship was awarded. This college scholarship gives $2,000 per year for up to four years to an Arlington Public Schools graduate who has demonstrated a strong interest in pursuing a STEM-related college major and career. The scholarship is administered by the Arlington Community Foundation. Other programs, however, saw major changes last year. When Arlington Public Schools switched to a virtual instruction mode, it changed everything for teachers and put many extra demands on their time. As a result, the Friends didn't award any new teacher grants for professional development in 2020, as we weren't receiving applications. We expect that as the Arlington schools return to an in-person instruction model, teachers will again apply to the Professional Development Grants program. At the beginning of the year, the Friends did host a few in-person events. We started out with a screening of the documentary, The City Dark, followed by a talk about our region's light pollution which was given by a representative of the International Dark Sky Association. As a special treat, a local high school student shared her excellent science fair project about light pollution in Arlington. February was especially fun, with a screening of the Mystery Science Theater 3000 version of the giant Gila monster and a challenging Darwin-themed trivia contest. In early March, we hosted Supermoon Science Sunday, which featured a special lunar talk by planetary scientist Dr. Angela Stickle, as well as demonstrations and activities for youngsters. Attendance was great, but then the pandemic shut us down. No more live events. How could the friends continue to connect with our community? Well, like everybody else, we pivoted and went online. Spitz, the manufacturer of the Arlington Planetarium Projection System, helped out by making some specially formatted versions of planetarium shows available to view online. We were able to share these with our members. The Friends also started hosting online talks via Zoom and similar platforms. This allowed us to invite a variety of expert speakers, both local and non-local. Tyler Nordgren and Alice Monet, both of whom are astronomers and artists, started us off with a discussion about the awesome, inspirational power of the night sky. Then, Seth Ann Howard and Alice Monet talked all about asteroids and how informative and dangerous they can be. Jennifer Bartlett and Teresa Wilson reviewed how Earth's moon has been an important influence on calendar systems throughout history. Jim Edwards Hewitt explained some of the various theories about how the moon was formed and how scientists' knowledge about the moon and its composition has grown during the past few decades. There was also a live demonstration of a crater-making experiment that viewers could reproduce at home. Tyler Nordgren returned to share some of his astronomy-related art as well as his considerable expertise on eclipses and auroras. Our very own Alice Monet described how to enjoy and successfully observe meteor showers and we ventured into dramatic recreation with an explanation of how the polymath Eratosthenes was able to use observation and mathematics to determine the circumference of our planet more than 2,000 years ago. Deb Fuller showed us a number of important astronomical sites built by indigenous people in the Americas. And Dr. Jim Thorne brought along his robots, Piper and Vista, for a special online concert full of fun music, science, and information about the history of space exploration. Since the traditional Season of Light planetarium show couldn't happen in December, we finished out the year with a dramatic lecture by Hypatia of Alexandria, 
who provided a 5th century perspective of possible astronomical explanations for the Christmas star. The presentation was followed by a live Q&A with Jennifer Bartlett and Tara Lee Edwards Hewitt. During the course of the year, the Friends also posted several mini Sky Talks. These three to five minute pre-recorded videos were designed to help people at home observe the sky without expensive equipment, while also providing some basic astronomical information. The Sky Talks also gave us the opportunity to highlight two significant observable sky events in 2020, the approach of Comet Neowise and the unusually close conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. Though the Arlington Planetarium building will remain closed until 2022, the Friends are continuing our engagement online. We have a Facebook page, Twitter feed, and website. We've just launched an e-newsletter for members, and more online events are in the works. When the pandemic subsides and public events generally resume, we will look at returning to in-person activities as well. As a final note, here's what is happening at the planetarium site right now. The Education Center renovation project has restarted construction, and the utilities of the planetarium building are being upgraded as part of the project. These photos show the Planetarium and Education Center as of mid-January 2021, with some recently added scaffolding. We will post periodic updates about the progress of the project, so stay tuned and thank you for continuing to support the Friends of Arlington's David M. Brown Planetarium.